A few days ago, my Starlink stopped working. So it was running all night and when I woke up around 7 a.m. in the morning, um, since I wasn't using it, I had to go turn it off. An hour later, I tried turning it back on but it refused to start. So my kid brother suggested that maybe the issue is from the fuse. So I called an electrician to confirm if the fuse in the plug was the issue. He inspected it, replaced the fuse, but the router wouldn't power on. The next thing he did was to configure my power cable that came with the Starlink to supply electricity to my extension socket using the original fuse that came with it. And when he did that, this power cable was able to supply electricity to my extension socket. Just to be sure that the problem was from my Starlink router, I had to even switch from Nepalite to using my um, solar inverter to see if it's actually going to work but everything proved footer. At this point, we concluded the problem wasn't from the power source but from the Starlink router itself. So I had to contact Starlink automated support and eventually opened a ticket. To my greatest surprise, Starlink replied instantly. So they confirmed there was a problem with my Starlink and they told me that a replacement has already been ordered. All this happened within a minute of submitting a support ticket. I couldn't believe my eyes. How were they able to remotely diagnose a fault with my Starlink and immediately place an order for a replacement? I've never experienced such an amazing customer support throughout my lifetime. After three or four days later, my new Starlink arrived and they asked me to refund the 40 units. In this video, I will show you what to do if your Starlink stops working and why it is one of the best options in the Nigeria's expensive telecom market. How to contact Starlink support for instant refunds or replacements. How to package and return your Starlink to avoid extra charges. The current cost of Starlink and why it is worth it for unlimited data and multi-user connectivity. And finally, we are going to discuss a cheaper alternative of Starlink, which is Viber. Hey everyone, Imano Jacob here. For more blockchain, crypto, and tech tips, do well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're interested in making money with crypto, do well to join my telegram channel for updates and free tutorials link in the description so now let's dive right in starlink has the best customer service i have ever experienced the system was able to detect a fault with my starlink and automatically ordered a replacement for me within one minute of filing a complaint and also guess that lots of starlink users out there are also facing this same problem i've had a couple of people share their stories with me this video will guide you step by step on how to go about it step one contacting support all you have to do is to open your Starlink application and navigate to support. Check the troubleshooting section first. If your issue isn't listed, click don't see what you are looking for, contact Starlink support. Initially, you are going to interact with an AI bot. Based on your complaint, it will either resolve the issue or prompt you to create a support ticket. Just to save your time, if you know what problem exactly your Starlink is having, you can actually skip chatting this bot to creating a support ticket. If your case qualifies for a refund or a replacement, you will definitely get an email from Starlink. So let me show you the email I got within a few minutes of filing a complaint on the Starlink support page. So the first email I got was um, a passcode for me to sign into my um, Starlink account to confirm that I'm actually the owner. And the second one is a confirmation of order. It says Starlink order confirmed. I was like, which order exactly? And when I opened the email, I saw this message which says, thank you for becoming a Starlink customer. I was like, am I just becoming a Starlink customer? I've been your customer since 2023. I still did not understand what was going on. And they said, the Starlink team has received your order and preparing it for shipment. I was like, which order exactly? You receive a separate email once your order ships. You can also track the status of your order by signing into your account. I was like, what exactly is going on? And within a few minutes, I got a response from the um, support ticket um, which I created and they said we have detected an issue with your starlink that requires a replacement this was when i was like okay i think i understand what exactly is going on right now so now they say we have gone ahead and placed an order for a free new or refurbished kit and issued a month service credit so the third email i got was them instructing me on how to return the old starlink 
and uh, the shipment details that I'm actually going to add to um, the this in the box where I'm actually going to be returning this Starlink from, as well as the shipment details that I'm going to place on the box of the Starlink while returning it to them. And after three days, I got a replacement. I mean, I was so surprised. Till date, I'm still so surprised for such an amazing services by the Starlink team. I will always recommend Starlink, really. To package your Starlink, you have to make sure it looks like this. So what I actually did was take a photo or I think I even made a video while I was unboxing the replacement so that I would be able to know how exactly I have to package it when I want to return it to them. To get started, all you have to do is to open your Starlink application and then you go to where we have Starlink and then you are going to see where we have Store Starlink. The next thing you want to do is to make sure that your Starlink is being plugged into electricity, right? I mean, your star your old Starlink um, dish has to be plugged. That is if the dish is still working. It has to be plugged to power source and it also has to be plugged to the router. And so when it comes to router, since the old router was faulty, I was actually using the new router to um, supply power to my Starlink dish. Then the next thing you have to do is to make sure that your Starlink is outside the base. Don't allow it to be inside the standing, just make sure you remove it. Place Starlink face down on a flat surface like table. After about a minute, the Starlink dish will automatically tilt into a stow position that is actually going to be bent. Once the Starlink stows, unplug the device so that it remains in stow position and make sure you package it and use a cello tape to bind everything just make sure you follow the same thing i'm doing now let us talk about the current cost of starlink at the time of making this video if you go to starlink um, platform you are going to realize that the current price is 590 000 naira that is if you are nigerian and if you are not a nigerian just go to their website and sign up and you are actually going to see the current price of starlink in your country or region then at the time of recording this video um starlink monthly subscription is still 38,000 naira although they promise that they are actually going to be increasing the price to 75,000 naira on a monthly basis which is more like times two of the current monthly subscription fee. Aside the cost of getting the Starlink equipment, I think Starlink monthly subscription is extremely cheap. I'm not gonna lie. Just to pay 38,000 Naira on a monthly basis and you can have unlimited data. That is massive, really. Compared to the cost of data on MTN, ATL, 9 Mobile and Glow, it's crazy. So if you're not able to afford Starlink, which is 590K currently, I think you can go for Viber. I think Viber is really, really cheap and they have plans of like maybe 17K on a monthly basis and it's still unlimited and you are also going to be able to connect um, multiple devices. I actually have a friend who has an office and he have um, about 19 staffs and these staffs uses both laptop, the company phone and their devices. So each staff is using um, three devices if you multiply 19 staff by um, three devices, you are going to see that that is almost 60 devices and the network doesn't lack. So I believe Viber is actually the best option if it is actually available in your region. So in conclusion, let's face it, internet subscription from telecommunication companies are way too expensive for the, the amount of data they deliver. With Starlink, you are not just paying for maybe one terabyte or so, you are paying for unlimited data subscription, which supports up to 100 users per time and everybody will still be able to browse at a fast internet speed, if actually the weather is good, right? Because Starlink, most of the times, do misbehave when it is raining since it is using satellite. So Starlink is perfect for schools, businesses and a large household. If you can't afford Starlink right now, maybe you can go for Viber like I mentioned earlier. A few months ago, many Starlink users complained of Starlink's poor customer support. But today, the opposite is the case. They are one of the best. So let me know in the comments below, do you already have Starlink? Have you ever had any issues? 
did it actually take time before it was being resolved or are you considering of getting starlink anytime soon let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful do well to smash that subscribe button for more crypto blockchain and tech tips like this one if you want to make money with crypto do well to join our telegram channel for updates and free tutorials thank you for watching i will catch you in the next one